All right, these are all the ingredients that we need for Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. Dump it, oh. I've got a riddle for you guys. What do you call a guy who records an entire video start to finish and then deletes it because he thought it was something else? If you said you call that guy August, you're right. That's right, boys and girls. This is my second time recording this video, but you know what? It's such a good video that I'm not even really that mad about it. Yeah, no, I'm lying. Only partially, though, because the video we're going to be watching today is one that will go down in the history books. A man so brave, a man greater than any other man on this planet has done something extraordinary. Allow me to introduce you to the YouTube channel Honest Tries. Honest Tries is a YouTube channel dedicated to doing what no other man has ever dared to do before. Try out the recipes that Jack Scalfani of the Cooking with Jack show, of course, creates. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the Cooking with Jack channel, well, first off, I would like to introduce you to my channel. Must be your first time around here. But to make it quick, Jack is a man who makes food that should not be eaten. And one of those foods that should not be eaten is Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad, which is exactly what Honest Tries is going to be trying for us today. Now, if you don't know what Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad is, then my God, are you in for a surprise? Let's begin. Please subscribe. All right, these are all the ingredients that we need for Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. Um, it's kind of a meme recipe, but I wanted to try it and document my efforts. I know the ingredients look crazy because they are and it's reportedly one of the most disgusting things you can make. But I'm going to try it, and I'm going to actually give my honest opinion about what it tastes like. What should really key you into how terrifying this recipe is, is that this group of ingredients already looks terrible and nonsensical as it is, and there are multiple things missing. And most of the things missing are the worst ones. Just put all your dry ingredients together because they're all going to go in at the same time. I would bet serious money that this is the only documented recipe in history that uses both pecans and bell peppers as a filler. All right, you got your crushed pineapple, like so, into the pan it goes. This is the secret ingredient here. We gotta put both these packets of Jello into there, into the pan. Just gotta mix that in. <laughs> Oh man, this is gonna be nasty. I've gotta believe deep down in my heart just to keep my humanity alive that at one point this was a normal dessert. Well, normal in comparison to what it is now. Like it was just jello, pineapples, cream cheese, some cool whip. You know, good old fashioned American eating. And then over the years, Aunt Myrna just started to forget what this was. Like, okay, I called it a salad in the recipe book, so why is there nothing green? I'm I'm feeling a bell pepper in the midst. And then party cheese salad if you say that quickly it, it kind of sounds like pecan yeah we need to add some nuts to this bad boy actually this might be the secret ingredient for a really healthy snack i'm gonna chop up this cream cheese of course i feel like that one cooking with hoarders guy that has to like hold the camera while he does things The reason my stove is yellow is because I tried to paint it one time. It's actually black underneath, which is why it looks so nasty, but it's actually just the paint coming off because <laughs> it didn't work out too well. Wow, okay, not to diss on you, brother. I mean, I really respect what you're doing here, but I have never once in my life thought, you know what I should do today? I I'm going to paint my stove. Yeah, that, <laughs> that sounds like it's going to work out. Uh, but yeah, you got to add in these bits of cream cheese. Like so. At least. All right, then we gotta kind of mix them in here and wait till it's all melted down. We're using the uh, lemon jello because that's what the guy used in the video when he showed us how to make it. Um, I've seen other people use lime, but honestly, the green looks just makes it look even worse than it already looks after it comes out. I don't know, I feel like lime might be better than lemon. I love lemon stuff. Like every year growing up for my birthday, my grandma would make me a lemon cake. But in my opinion, all artificial citrus flavors are disgusting. I feel like
like generally lime gets the closest and then like lemon and orange are just always bad. Maybe we need a redo with lime. It doesn't actually smell too bad as of yet. I'm guessing it's going to. Well, yeah, that's because you haven't yet added the things that would classify this as an illegal substance. As of now, this is still just a kind of gross but still passable dessert. In go the bell peppers, celery, and nuts. And I'm using pecans because that's what he used in his video. So those go in. Probably the worst ingredient uh, for some ungodly reason mementos. So I'm gonna dump those in. And then you just, just mix that together. There's almost zero chance, and I'm talking really close to zero, that this is a real recipe. I mean, either Aunt Myrna was pulling an epic prank on Jack, or uh, she uh, had, a, had a few too many, if you know what I'm saying, when she was writing down this recipe. There's no way, there's no way that a person would come up with this recipe, because it's not even based on anything. It's not like we can see a path that someone would take to get to this recipe. No, there, there's no, no situation where you take lemon jello with pineapples and cream cheese and add pimentos, bell peppers, celery, and pecans. It's just not happening. Okay, it's time to put it into this dish here. Go ahead and just dump it. Oh, oh boy, okay. Uh, as one of my favorite content creators said, this indeed looks like something that your dog would hack up on your rug after coming in after a hot day. Unfortunately, I think I would have to disagree with that. If you were to show me this frame and give me no context, my first guess, honestly, would be like white queso with jalapenos and meat. That's what this looks like to me. Not Aunt Myrna's cheese salad, a delicious cheesy dip, which is unfortunate because now every time I have white queso, I'm gonna be thinking of this. Distribute all of the ingredients. <laughs> this looks really bad. And to add insult to injury, we're going to go ahead and add uh, the topping of cheese. And this whole thing is going to chill in the refrigerator overnight. So we'll see you tomorrow. All right, bear with me for a minute, guys. Does anybody else feel like this would be more tasty if it was cooked in the oven? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying it would taste good, but I feel like it might taste better. Am I just going insane? Okay. This is the Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. The next day it's been chilling in the fridge overnight and it looks absolutely not good. But we're gonna try it. Just get a piece of this out of here. Oh, I don't like the way that feels. All right, real quick, can we like talk about how beautiful this shot looks? I mean, I feel like I'm watching a slice of life movie. All right. It won't come off the... Alright, look at that. Uh, Jim, this one's for you. That smells awful. It, it really smells awful. It smells like, um... Like nacho... Like nacho cheese dip. But like, sickly sweet. That is a uh, fantastically gross explanation because um, I can taste that. Like getting a can of spray cheese and a can of whipped cream and just downing them both at the same time. So we're gonna try. Okay. Okay. My god, Aunt Myrna is a sorceress. This party cheese salad has genuinely rendered this man speechless. He took one bite and was unable to speak for 30 seconds. It's... I would have no desire to have this again. I would have no desire to ever eat it again. There are some things I would take out of it. Uh, probably not the cheese on top. But, it's actually 
Yeah, I'll, I'll try another bite just in case. But it's actually not like like the most vile thing you've ever tasted. It's not the most vile thing you've ever tasted? What have you been eating in your free time, pal? I guess it probably wouldn't be the most vile thing I've ever had either, to be fair. That would go to some rotten uni I had a few years ago. If you've ever had sea urchin, then you know that the consistency is uh, probably not for everybody. So that consistency plus rotting fish, yeah, was was not a fun time. It's, it's not like horrendous it's just like it's not like as soon as it touches my mouth i want to spit it out but i guess the question is why like why put all these different things in this you don't need that like the pineapple the cool whip the cream cheese like all that stuff could be good together i suppose but just some of the other stuff like the nuts would be good maybe but like some of the other stuff in there like the celery the green pepper i don't know it's just just why like, what, what purpose is there? Yeah, I mean, once again, I think the most plausible answer to that question is either that Aunt Myrna was pranking Jack when she gave him this recipe, or she was like eight shots of vodka deep when she was writing it down. Because there's no other logical answer. Well, guys, what do you think? What would it take for you to try Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad? I feel like if it was in front of me, I would take just a bite to know what it tastes like. But I feel like we all already know what it tastes like. Like, it wasn't like there's any real cooking going on. It's just all the ingredients put together. I can pretty well imagine what cheesy lemon pineapples and bell peppers taste like. And uh, it's, it's not good. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye. Subscribe.